Okay, everyone, today, day 28, we've got a record. It's very good since yesterday we were doing the DJ thing, wasn't it? <laughs> the nightclub. So, today, back inside the mountain, doing the garden. Now, I've called it a garden, but um, it's a large garden, isn't it? It's huge. So, what I've planned to do is going to plant some trees in there. Here we are. A few little in maybe have like a tunnel coming in here a little bit of light and make it kind of magical as well I'll tidy that up later probably okay so comes this side doesn't it so you walk through a, a little tunnel to get in and I'm going to be planting, as I say, trees today. Now I've got some rainforest trees because it's quite nice if you come into the into here and you, and you discover a rainforest. <laughs> all different areas. And there you go. So you've got one way in here, and you can come this way into it, and then you can come the other way into it. I think that's a good way of doing it. So you're walking into little tunnels all the time. So it's three, one, two, three. Um, more up, isn't it? And then it comes down. There we go. So it's like a little, makes it a little bit more hidden, doesn't it, that way? I think, anyway. Is that right? Have I done that wrong? Does it come out this way? Not that way. Yeah. Yes. So we have lots of little tunnels that you can come through. And so you can carry on walking into this one. Um, there you go. So you have a long tunnel the way down. And then you have little tunnels coming out. That doesn't work, does it? Because is that three? Two. That's three. So that's four, that's where it's gone wrong, folks. It's gone wrong there because you count right. <laughs> it's important, folks, doing this sort of thing. Count correctly. That's still not right. I tell you, what are we doing wrong? What are we doing wrong? Through in the middle. Oh no, we are right, we just haven't done this side. <laughs> so you get the basic idea anyway of what I'm thinking. That we'll have little so you walk in and then you have to walk you carry on walking straight into the heart of the garden. Obviously it's been much easier for you because <laughs> you're gonna be on the ground, not like me. So put some light down, see what we're doing. It would be quite nice to have a little, proper little garden in here. See so little areas we come into and linked together. So the first thing we need to do is plant our trees, and then we can see how they grow. Now we need to plant our trees in an area where they've got enough room. So I've got the nice cut. Uh, it won't show, will it, because it'll be underneath. So I've got three different types. The rainforest will be planted um, where there's lots of space. I think we'll probably get away with a few here over to the edge anyway. And then that will see. I'll tidy that up. Back there. We can see what we've left with then. Okay. 
Okay, so we have like a birch, birch area and then we have little flowers and seating and everything. I thought we'd have a nice little river running through as well. That's a birch tree area. Let's just cordon that off so we know what we're doing. There we go. So that's the birch tree area. Then back here needs to be the rainforest because these need to have lots of room to grow because they grow really tall. So we'll put them over this side. It's all the garden. It's going to be like a nature reserve, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we should have called it, nature reserve. In the wind wonderland, it would be quite funny actually. So I think we can go over this side a bit as well. Yeah, and then it would be fun, wouldn't it? Be like a tree house here. <laughs> Rainforest and tree houses just go together, if you ask me. So I did bring bow meal to grow it quicker. So that's the rainforest. I think we can possibly go over here with the rainforest. I think we've got enough height to do that. I will need to block it all off from here so you can't see. It's a big project. <laughs> You're not surprised to hear that, are you? That's a big project. Yeah, I think we can get away with one here as well. So that's going to be the rainforest. And then we're going to have the acacia trees over this side. I've just remembered, yeah, I did, the tree's going to block this block, so I don't know why I bothered in such a fancy uh, block down. Okay, these should be okay here, I think. There's enough. This is enough for it to grow there though. We shall see. We should just have to wait and see, won't we? Okay, then, I, then I'd like to just put in a, a river. And I thought the areas could be a little bit, a bit of a gap between them. Because I think um, I get overwhelmed by it and I don't want that to happen. So we can have like uh, we can have a we can squeeze one in here. So with the yeah, so that's the beach area. That's the yeah. I think that's all we need. I don't really need anything else. Oh look, there's one already growing. Let me say, leave plenty of room for it because um, they grow really tall, really short. Isn't that typical? <laughs> so the river. Um, did bring a bucket of water. This needs to roll through, I think. Or we could have um, like a. Oh, here's the thing: we could have a pond. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So we have like a, like a pond, and then it could run off um, into each area, and then we could have little bridges. That would be lovely, lovely little bridges. One pin, one to the other. Bridges across. I like, I like the idea of bridges that runs a little bit of water running, as I say, into each area. Okay, we're coming through. So a bit like before, knock them out, put the water in. I do want it 
very light so I'll put some lily pads I think in the pond maybe some sugar canes quite nice wouldn't it um, and then we could put I think oh dear me I think I put glowstone yeah just to, it does need a bit of lighting up doesn't it water as it doesn't want people drowning here do we that wouldn't be very good not a good image no, that goes quite nice with that soil doesn't it as well so there you have it so um, I'm gonna go around bone mill with this you don't want to see that and um, I'll pop back in when that's done so everyone as you can see the trees have grown I bone milled as much as I can some didn't so I've just left them as little shrubs I've gone round and done the gap here and I got a little bit mad with the vines <laughs> I thought they'd look great just hanging down everywhere I've put some on the tunnel extended the tunnel out here and then um, I thought I wouldn't link the rivers all together I'll just dot a few around the place and I started putting um, the ground in because um, it's obviously meant to be a nature reserve place and that will need um, things like um, grass and that um, what's it called? pod sole which I think looks great here I've done it up a little bit here so we put a few bridges in and some seating and then we've got to put flowers in everywhere but I think it's going to look fantastic when it's finished I put the glowstone around because I thought it's it, you needed light in the area I just wanted to show you this because this looks really good. You put this on, it goes snowy. You do it like that. It looks like they're snowed onto the uh, dirt, which I think is a really good idea. So I just wanted to show you that. And um, we're going to do a little bridge across from one area to the other. Now, I don't know what would be the best brick to do this in. Because it's we've got all the wood here, but we want to make it quite natural. So I think we're going to go with the jungle wood. So we're going to need some jungle. Oops, no, not jungle. Jungle half steps. All the doors look nice, don't they? As well. I do like these doors. <laughs> not having doors here. So what we're going to do is you're going to be able to walk from one side over to the other. Let's go up and have a look at it again. And I've got, I haven't put my lily pads in there, I have to remember to do that. So we could just walk straight um, across here, would be the easiest way of doing it, wouldn't it? And then all you would have to do then is just build a straight bit across. I'm not going to do any. Um, any um, um, rails because I think it's it's quite nice as it is um, without it and I think people are going to be okay she said not really knowing but think they would be so I'll just do I don't need to be too high does it either because I think um, I think it's just like a little bridge to go across you don't want to be too high on it I did think about stepping stones, maybe, as another idea. We need to come down, don't we? Oops, not that way. Are we on the wrong way here? Yes, we were. So we need to put it right round this way. So I thought I'd just show you what's happening, what's going on with it. So it's not too much of a, a shock when you come came back in. You've got to have something for it to sit on, don't you? So, I mean, be quite, yeah, I mean, that might be too high. I think that's too high. I think you need to come down one. I think that's going to be a, a better, excuse me, a better height for it. Yeah, there you are. That's quite nice. So, we'll do that all. Oh look, we've already reached a problem because it, it, it doesn't match up. <laughs> there we go. 
yes, you've got a little bridge to walk across, a bit of fun. Something a little bit different here. And you're going to have the lily pads in. You can actually walk across the lily pads, can't you? We'll put a glowstone in there, make it a bit brighter as you walk across. Yeah, so there we are. We've got our little bridge across. I still think that's too high there, to be honest. But uh, no, because you need to be able to go. To leave. I'm just thinking. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's. Okay, no, I don't think it is okay. <laughs> What's wrong with my little bridge, folks? Is it too high again? I think it is. I think it needs to be really. Yeah. I think it was too high. Building bridge with patch forever. That's what it takes. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that already, and we haven't even looked at it from the distance. So we've got our bridge in. Taking us a while to do it, but we've done it. Now we've got to put plants around. I'll do all the soil off camera because that's just going to take forever to do. You don't need me to see me placing blocks around there. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Um, so flowers, lots of flowers. I'm just going to dot them around. I think in certain areas, it'd be quite nice to have that, it, like at the edge of the the water maybe and then we need seating now because we've got the this wood we've already done for the bridge I think it'd be nice to keep it the same so and because I want light in these areas I think it'd be quite nice to use that as like at the edge there you go and then we can put the box behind yeah, see, I think that works really well. And then you can have it come around there. So you've got somewhere to come and sit down. Yeah, that's that's great. So we'll put a little few of these seating areas around. And it also light up the place a bit as well. So we have our one coming around this way, can't we? Quite tucked in nice. And I think if we could do any like um, stepping stones, we would do it out of the same same block, the wood, because I think it'd be nice to marry it all in. So that just gives you an idea of what I'm planning to do around. So yeah, that looks, this is tucked away. It's not standing out like a sore farm. Yeah, so we'll have them all, all around the place, maybe even in the middle. Um, and the flowers, we could have flowers around the edge here as well, couldn't we? So I'm just gonna go off and find myself some flowers and I'll see you back here soon. So, picked up some flowers, remember the water lilies, so I'm going to put them out. Oh, look, to keep my bucket of water. I've got some pink ones, but I'll pick the pink um, flowers in a different area. There we go. And then I bought some ferns and some uh, double, what do they call these ones? Large ferns. So I thought they'd be quite nice to put around as well. So I'll do that on a bit on camera, and then you can come back when Spawn visits um, later. Whoops! No, I don't know why I did that. I did it the wrong way. And you can see it all finished later today. So I think I've got two of the same. Yeah, the same. <laughs> so put all the little white ones together. Just try and make it so that it's a little bit random. There we go. Then we'll put them round the pond as well. Just in little clumps, I think. I think that'll look nice. Just to make it a little bit softer, I think it'll do. I think that's what the grasses will do as well. Put them around. Um, so we'll do this all over with different flowers. I've got some, I think I've got three flowers in my area. Maybe in the trees, that'd be quite nice over that way. 
I think after all the whiteness outside, it'd be lovely to come in here and see a little bit of this. So we've got these big ones here. Yeah. I think that's great. I mean, we can even put some in the middle of the lake. I mean, the lake is not usually, is it? On the edge of the, the um, pond, it is, isn't it? So just break it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to look lovely. Yeah. Don't overdo it. She says, put more down. <laughs> Fern should be over by the tree, shouldn't it, really? It shouldn't just be over here I don't think let's take that away take that away have a look yeah I think that's I think that's what we need to do put a few more together like clumps and then we've done it this pond so I'll go off camera and finish up and I shall see you later when the spawns visit with it all being done will be new to you as well which is nice for you to see something new so, thanks for watching, Ooh, one. and I shall see you very soon. Bye!